What's up, everybody? Mike Lindsley back with you. It's an ML Sports Take brought to you by Carvel of North Syracuse, Maple Down Senior Living Facility, and Stanley Law Offices. Stanley Law Offices, together, they'll work to get you the maximum reward. Syracuse all over Connecticut last night, 48-14. to And listen, I know that UConn's weak. I know that you can expose the passing game, and certainly Dino Babers and company probably talked about that ad nauseum, right? But my God, I did not expect this. I mean, they won this game handily by 34 points. And if you're one of those people, well, UConn stinks and UConn... Uh, uh, pull back on one thing here, okay? Go look around college football yesterday, okay? I mean, go go look at go look at Texas a and losing to App State. Uh, go look at uh, many other teams struggling. Um, this, uh, this Syracuse team went in and just flat out took care of business. 17 unanswered to start the game. And I thought that they were just killing it on both sides of the football. It, all facets, frankly. Um, you know, Garrett Schrader was unbelievably accurate. 20 of 23 for 287 and three touchdowns. Can't ask any more from him uh, than that. He also provided two touchdowns on the ground and 24 yards uh, on 13 carries. So, you know, Garrett Schrader, when you look at the overall, uh, you know, big picture thing here, you're looking at uh, 300 and, um, what is that, 311 um, total yards from scrimmage and five touchdowns. That, that's a pretty good day. Uh, Sean Tucker quietly 112 yard game, but I guess it was because he didn't have that you know huge highlight real play. Um, receiving, they spread it around. Maybe this system, maybe not having a number one is good. I'm not really sure, but you've got Elford, you've got Gadsden, you've got Payne, you've got Jackson and Adams and Cooper. They were all getting in the mix um, and sharing the wealth uh, of the football, and then defensively. You know, Syracuse really got after it. Um, you know, for the second game in a row, they limited their penalties compared to week one against Louisville. I thought that was great as well. Um, but you think about the ball hawks on this team. You think about Garrett Williams, who even got a sack last night. Um, Michael Jones was everywhere. Um, you know, uh, Carter was everywhere. Clark was everywhere. Uh, these guys really played a great game, a sound game, a dominating game in all three facets. Syracuse 2-0 and on the season, pleasantly surprised by not just the wins, but how they're winning, and, you know, blowout fashion and all the rest. And I got to tell you, there's two parts of this for me now two weeks into the season. A, really, really pleased and surprised at how they're playing and how they're winning. But also we we have to kind of go with the coach speak one game at a time situation because still have, you know, five games remaining on the schedule against top 25 teams. And if you've seen Wake Forest play this year, uh, they're really good. Clemson's defense might be the best in the country. Uh, NC State's going to be a challenge. So there are, there are plenty of games out there. Notre Dame maybe could be had now, right? I mean, I don't know. Uh, but everything's a week-to-week -week, uh, deal here. Uh, so uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. But uh, look, you can't play the rest of the games until you play the first two. And Syracuse is 2-0. and Mike Lindsley with you here. It's an ML Sports Take brought to you by Ken's Auto Detailing, Barks and Rec Doggy Daycare, and Camilla's Golf Club. Like this video. Subscribe to my channel. As I always tell you, enjoy the games.